Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pooja and in today's video, I'm going to be giving my Rafa Defora the dress firma that you can see back there, a much needed steak. So my Raffidifora Tetra Sperma has been growing so quickly, I think it's one of my fastest growing plants at this point. Uh, and as you can see back there, she's like completely leaned up against the wall, that's where she usually stays and I'm so scared to move the pot because like she's, I'm scared that she's, it'll just snap, you know what I mean? Uh, so she clearly needs a steak, she needed a steak like ages ago, but I haven't been able to decide between a moss pole and a bamboo steak. Uh, like honestly I've been going back and forth so much on it and I just couldn't decide so I decided to go ahead and use neither I'm gonna be using a twine pole today I really like the look of a twine pole as well and I've never used it before I've never made one before so today I thought I'm just gonna you know go ahead and make one and see how it looks and then we will repot her up and stake her up and all of that so to make my twine pole I'm going to be using four things uh, first I have a bamboo steak then I have some uh, macrame card uh, I have a glue gun and finally I have a pair of scissors. Uh, that's all you need uh, for this. Uh, so I wasn't able to find a stake that was long enough for my plant. So I'm going to be using two stakes and I'm going to be trying to attach them. So if you're able to find a stake that's long enough uh, for your plant, you should probably do that because it will make things slightly easier. Uh, and as far as the technique goes, there's nothing much to it. I'm just going to be applying some glue on the pole and then I'm going to be wrapping the macrame cord around it and that's pretty much it. Uh, this is very similar to a DIY planter technique that I had a video up uh, a few weeks ago and that worked out great so I'm hoping this works out well as well but we'll find out. Okay so I'm going to be starting right about here because I'm assuming this part is going to go inside the pot. So I think this is the easier way to do it. Like what I'm doing right now, I'm rotating the bamboo stake. Uh, I guess the other way to do it would be to, you know, do something like this. But then like you can see the cord starts getting entangled and it slows the process down a little bit. But yeah, otherwise it's easier than I thought actually. So I definitely recommend it. So I'm going to glue uh, two of these stakes right here and then also wrap the twine around it and I'm hoping that works, we'll see. Okay, so that's stuck pretty easily, so let's continue. Uh, wrapping the twine around So I did four layers of the glue for this part Final stretch here, uh, I really like how it's looking so far. It's a little boring to do, I will admit that, but I think it's worth it. Just for the final part of it. So this is the finished look. I really like how it's looking. Uh, I don't even know how to show you because it's so long. Uh, so this part right here is a little thick because this is where I attach the two poles. I should be able to cover it up with a plan, but even if not, it's fine. It doesn't really bother me. 
uh, and this edge over here I did not wrap the twine around it as you can see because uh, this is going to go in, into the pot so yeah it's finally time to stake her up okay so this is definitely not going to be easy she is long and I don't know if you can tell but she's kind of like leaning and almost falling I'm so worried she'll snap okay I'm just gonna lay her down so I've never actually ever repotted this one it's always it's just in her nursery pot so we'll see how the root system looks like and if she needs a new pot okay so those are my roots seems mostly fine. I think she'll be fine in this pot really actually. So I got this plant as like two four inch plants and over the past couple of months the growth has shot up. I wasn't expecting her to grow so big so quickly. The roots are looking really healthy. So I'm just gently massaging the roots here uh, and trying to get rid of all of this old potting substrate. Nothing wrong with it, but I just want to use uh, the potting substrate that I'm more familiar with and that works really well for me, which is this chunky mix here. I've done a video on this exact mix, so I will link it in case you're interested, but it works really well for me uh, for the overwatcher that I am. Uh, I think that's about it. I'm just gonna get rid of the soil and then we will continue. So this is the nursery pot that the plant came in. I don't really need to upsize uh, the pot at this point uh, because it was not really root bound but I am going to go ahead and upsize it anyway because I would like to avoid repotting it again later on. Uh, so yeah I'm going to add like this wire mesh at the bottom just to prevent the soil from you know uh, going out of the drain holes I'll leave a link to everything I'm using here uh, I pretty much bought everything online except I guess the bamboo sticks which I bought at a local store but if you're interested the links will be in the description box so yeah I'm just cutting this approximately I haven't really measured it or anything uh, so yeah We bought this one. Okay, so she's all potted up. Uh, I'm going to be using this velcro to attach the plant to the stake we just made. Uh, this is probably not the best angle for the camera, but I really can't move because as you can see, the plant is going to fall and snap if I do. So, sorry about that. So she's all potted up, all staked up and back in her original spot. I'm really hoping she thrives and I'm really glad I chose the twine pole actually because I think it's a good look for the plant if that makes sense. And as you can see, I did give like an extra length uh, to the pole because I didn't want to disturb her anytime soon. Uh, just to give you an idea, the plant is about four feet tall and the stake is about five and a half feet tall. So yeah, think ahead, give that extra bit of length so you don't have to repot your plant again. Uh, and yeah, I will insert like a zoomed in uh, video, zoomed in clip of the plant in the pole at the end of this. But other than that, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, please remember to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.